An Albuquerque museum is restoring a significant piece of history, a rare bomber that helped end World War II. And as News 13's Emily Younger shows you, the final product is almost ready. I just have to be very, very blunt. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my career. Jerry Hanks served in the Marine Corps. He also worked at Sandia Labs. But it's here at the National Museum of Nuclear Science and History in Albuquerque where he feels he's truly making a difference. It's a piece of history that will stay forever. That piece of history is this, a B-29 bomber. The Super Fortress is the same model that dropped atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945. On the planet, there's only 17 of them left. That's why earlier this year, the museum set out to restore the rare aircraft, raising more than $40,000 to do it. It should be a very starking, uh, nice looking display. Today, a group of volunteers were hard at work. Sanding 70 year old wood, then staining it. Nearby, a pair of professional painters coated the plane's wings. After the final paint goes on, then we've got a, another huge project of putting all the artwork and lettering everywhere on the airplane. New lights, new windows, and a fresh coat of paint, all to bring a historical plane back to life. It is, uh, it's been a very long, long process and the most rewarding one that we've ever done. Emily Younger, KRQE News 13. So far, about 50 volunteers have pitched in on the restoration project. They've clocked more than 2,000 hours. The restored plane should be ready next month. You'll see new